Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peppers. Have you heard this before? This is an example of alliteration. Alliteration is a type of literary device that we often see in poetry. Alliteration means that the beginning consonant sounds and words are the same. In these two rhymes or poems, we see consonant sounds repeated, the letter P and the letter T. This adds to the rhythm and beat of the poems. Let's use the letter B to come up with some alliteration. We can brainstorm brilliant B words like banana, bee, baseball, bat, boat, buy, bee, bust, beat, black, bad, big, brilliant, and broken. Now that we have a good list of B words, let's put them together to make a poem. Our poem can also include rhyme. I bought a black banana and a broken baseball bat, a burst balloon, a busted boat, a beat up bowler hat. I wasn't being brainy, bright, or brilliant, but you see, my brain was boggled after being bitten by a bee. Do all of the words in our poem start with B? Nope, just the important ones. The alliteration and syllables in the words help us create a rhythm in our poem. We also have rhyme in our poem. When we read a poem that uses alliteration, those repeated sounds stand out to us. They help us paint a picture in our minds and support our understanding. Alliteration can also create a mood or make us feel a certain way. So when you hear a poem that uses wonderful and wacky words, know the poet did it on purpose and it's called alliteration.